Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and today we are going to discuss security guidelines for micro ATMs. Micro ATMs are point of sale devices that work with minimal power, connect to the central banking servers through GPRS, thereby reducing the operational cost significantly. Micro ATM solution enable the unbanked rural people to easily access micro ATM services in a very effective manner. The basic interoperable transaction types that the micro ATM will support are deposit, withdrawal, funds transfer, balance inquiry and mini statement. The micro ATM will support the following means of authentication for interoperable transactions. The first one is Aadhaar plus Biometric. The second one is Aadhaar plus OTP. The third one is Magnetic Strip Card plus Biometric. Fourth one is Magnetic Strip Card plus OTP. And the fifth one is Magnetic Strip Card plus Bank Pin. Threats to Micro ATMs. Data Vulnerabilities. With respect to POS data vulnerabilities, there are three specific areas that should be given attention including data in memory, data in transit and data at rest. Data in memory in this context is when the card track data is brought into the system at the POS system via point of interface or some other input device. Data in memory is nearly impossible to defend if an attacker has an access to POS system. Traditionally, data input into the POS system was in memory in clear text, which is what allowed attackers memory scrappers to be very successful. The way to minimize this risk is by encrypting the card data as soon as possible and keeping it encrypted to the maximum extended throughout its life within the system. Point-to-point -point encryption could be used to address the issue of encrypting data in memory. Skimming. Skimming is the theft of credit card or debit card information. Thief can obtain victim's credit card number using a small electronic device near the card acceptance slot and store hundreds of victim's credit card numbers. Social engineering. Social engineering involves gaining trust, hence the fraudster poses as a member of staff. The fraudster would then ask the customer to check the card for damages. The fraudster would have gained confidence from his prey using various tactics such as offering assistance to the customer who perhaps would have tried to use the ATM without success or Perhaps the customer who is not familiar with the use of micro ATM machine and requires assistance. Best practices for users. Before using micro ATM, please ensure that there are no strain objects in the insertion panel of the ATM to avoid skimming. Cover the pin panel while entering pin. Destroy the transaction receipts securely after reviewing. Change ATM PIN on a regular basis. Keep a close eye on bank statements and dispute any unauthorized charges or withdrawals immediately. Shred anything that contains credit card number written on it. Notify credit or debit card issuer in advance for change of address. Do not accept the card received directly from bank in case if it is damaged or seal is open. Do not write PIN number on credit or debit card. Do not disclose credit card number or ATM PIN to anyone. Do not hand over the card to anyone even if he or she claims to represent the bank. Do not get carried away by strangers who try to help you use the micro ATM machine. Do not transfer or share account details with unknown or non-validated sources. In case of any suspected transactions or loss of cards, contact the service providers or bank 
immediately. Best practices for service providers. The micro ATM must not transmit any confidential data unencrypted on the network. The micro ATM must automatically log out the operator and lock itself after a period of inactivity. Keep all the micro ATM software, application, antivirus regularly updated. Educate the customer about basic functionalities and security best practices. I hope these tips will be useful for you in your daily life. Thank you very much.